Hey guys, you are watching Circuit TV. Welcome back to my channel. As per I have posted, the review is ready. So let's get started. So you can see on the box, this is the front side. There is FSI 4X transmitter photo, and there is nothing on this one. This is four channel digital lock proportional radio control system at this side here are some i series feature and here is x series feature on the back there is a big x with this thing written on it this is 2.4 gigahertz afhds a2 means version 2 afhds let's unbox it There is nothing in the box now. It comes with the language manual. So this one is Chinese, I guess. And from the back side it is written in English. This is not a complete guide for this transmitter. So you have to check it online for features. So it comes with nice hard plastic with some foam balls here. Let's open it up. You can see guys the transmitter is pretty nice but we will look later towards it. So inside the box, inside this box you got one receiver with a bind key and some stickers if you upgrade your transmitter so we will look at this first you can see this is a 6 channel radio receiver for the fly sky it is also compatible with AFHDS A2 fly sky A6 this is here is the this port is for bind key you just put your bind key here and just power this up and bind with your transmitter it can support 4 volts to 8.4 volts for this specific there is nothing on back and a huge big tail engine I will upgrade it as I require I will build up with the help of copper wire so now we are looking towards the remote it needs four AA batteries a trainer port here and four screws for upgrade it once you just unscrew it open it up carefully add switches and knobs here and here you can upgrade it up to 10 channel but you have to program it with your laptop or PC computer if you have trainer port, trainer plug, whatever it is so these are the trim buttons of course you can see this four are trims this is for this, per this trimming the forward, backward, right, left and the throttle trimming as well so here are the signal reverse switches and a vmix means your ailerons and rudder will com combine together sorry not rudder elevator and uh, ailerons i guess for this purpose the power button and bind button here the gimbals are pretty smooth i'm feeling in my hand so this portion is retired a string whatever I don't know I don't have it so then you can see there is marking right here for your total adjustment let me show you if I can yes here is a little bit a little knob for your center position for 
just getting thrown up and down for both the sides for the gimbals have it you get a nice big grip with this handle here and it can stand just like this so I think I will upgrade it to 10 channel receiver transmitter with the 10 channel receiver I have to buy it again so here are some instructions written at the back FCC rules operation is subject to blah 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 I don't create those such things so guys this is best receiver and transmitter that I have purchased this is just best for beginners such as me so I just hate this huge big tail antenna I don't know why so I don't know if this I can shorten this and just lost the range of the receiver so guys let me show you how it will work I have to pause the video so guys I'm back with a 6 volt battery and some sales for the computer insert this ball so that I can show you the binding process on the light so as you can see if it is not if it is bind then it shows green button and green light so you can see here is written something for your terminals, battery terminals so I have plugged the bind plug in it and carefully just power it up as you can see the light is flashing faster so putting it aside press the bind button let me focus press the bind button and power up the transmitter at the same time this will flash like this and this thing will beep slowly so just remove your battery from the receiver and power up the transmitter after that you just power this up again but you have to remove the bind plug always and this is one step just I don't think it is in the right position so after that just I don't know why it is not turning it on I think this is burned blown up I am just plugging it in wrong position. So after you plug it off, after removing this bind key, then this will slowly flashes the red light and power the transmitter on and this will be stable and this will be green. I don't have any electronics so that I can show you the connections. This is for channel 1. Then another is for channel second. I think I just reverse this thing. Third channel is throttle, and fourth is rudder. So the bind process is in simple way. So the feature I like in this transmitter is you can switch from A2 to the first generation, means normal ADH, AF, HDS, A2 to AF HDS so first of all put your both gimbals at right bottom sorry left bottom corner 
and power the transmitter on this will gives a red light beeping slowly and power off the transmitter you have switches you have switch your transmitter in AFHDS for this generation and power it on you cannot bind with this let me show you again so as we have seen before we have paired both the transmitter and receiver if you power this on this must be stable because we have paired it but this is in more first FHDS so that's why it is not stable so we can try to bind it with it oops I just don't have to find the bind port so for switching it to normal FHDS A2 means second generation just do the same process and it just give, gives beep with the red light after that just turn this off and now I don't power this off so it is again uh, with each other so this is a special thing about this remote I think it is supported in Flysky i6 one and this one also so it is pretty pretty much bigger for pictures and numbers so let me focus this so these are the signal rivers for 4 and the vmix as I have told you and that's it so you can if you are a beginner I prefer you to get this one if you are a medium range means if you are not a beginner then means if you are a drone pilot I suggest you to buy FSI 6 one and if you are a and that's it for the profess, professional solution you can use those things means FSI 6 because it is also come it also comes with 10 channel conversation but you have to purchase this for 10 channels this is 6 channel one you have to buy FSI 10 I guess I A10 so that will come with 10 channels and that's it I hope you enjoy the video give a thumbs up subscribe and press the bell icon also so that you can't miss any notification from me and if you want to help my channel grow and I will give you some benefits if you subscribe to Patreon I just give a link in the description below thanks for watching